Hey you all after a long time welcome to another video and in this video I will talk about the best Linux distribution available in 2024 beginners and it's a awesome thing that we have Linux which uh, give powers to many distros and these are available for free and these are ha these have some good and nice features which give you upper hand from most of other operating systems now tells uh, let's get started which is the best linux distribution uh, there is no definite answer to that question uh, i think there are a lot of linux distribution and i can't even think of coming up with an exact number because you would find loads of linux distros that differ from one another in one way or the other so in that case some of them just turn out to be a clone of one another uh, like Ubuntu and while some of them tend to be a unique and so it's kind of a mess but that's the beauty of Linux now in this case I will talk about the distros which come with application and good intuitive UI so beginners don't need to uh, learn something new they can use them right out of the box and uh, here first we have the Ubuntu which is a Debian based distro managed by the canonical limited and Ubuntu is undoubtedly one of the most popular uh, Linux distribution and you can even find it pre-installed on a lot of laptops available and the user interface is so easy that to get comfortable with and if you play around with it you can easily customize the look of it as per your requirements in uh, either case you can opt its uh, install a theme as well and uh, you can learn more about uh, from the first byte uh, article how to install themes in ubuntu and to get started now in addition to what it offers you will find a huge online community of ubuntu users so if you face an issue uh, head to any of the forums or a subreddit which uh, in the reddit to ask for help and you can get help easily now you have the knowledge about the ubuntu and uh, i will talk about the coming up the next distro uh, uh, which is the linux Mint, uh, ubuntu based operating system with same apt package manager now linux Mint is known for its lightweight and a great ui and it's another popular linux distribution among the beginners as well uh, the default cinnamon desktop resembles the windows xp and this is why many users opted for it when windows xp was discontinued now linux mint is based on ubuntu and thus it has all the application available for ubuntu the simplicity and ease of use is why it has become a prominent choice for new linux users uh, so linux mint is more beginner friendly for the users who came from the windows ecosystem for its windows like ui and uh, apart from the linux mint we have a next uh, operating system or distro which is also a ubuntu based it's called elementary os and its ui resembles as the mac os so if you have already used a mac powered system it's uh, really easy to get comfortable with it this distribution is based on the ubuntu and focuses to deliver user friendly linux environment which looks as pretty as possible while keeping the performance in mind now uh, with the elegancy of elementary os we have um, mx linux which is the limelight almost a year ago but now at the time of uh, publishing this video it is most popular linux distro on distrowatch.com which is the uh, official website for every uh, distribution available in internet and if you have not used it yet you will be surprised when you get to use it unlike ubuntu mx linux is an increasingly popular linux distribution based on debian 
with XFC at its desktop environment so it's a uh, lighter than the other distribution now it comes with packed with a lot of GUI tools which makes it very easier for any user comfortable with Windows or Mac originally also the package manager is perfectly tailored to facilitate one click installation you can even search for flat pack packages and install it in no time now the package manager uh, as one of the sources now discuss uh, i will discuss about the zorin os and this is uh, known for its beauty and also regarding the old computer this was also made for it it's called the zorin lite which is pretty much lightweight and can run with a bare minimum of 1 gb ram a uh, ubuntu based distro comes with uh, three edition called uh, ultimate education and another one is i tailed already and i would definitely recommend it for the users without any linux background a lot of ui based application come baked in as well but if you want to support the developers and help improve zorin i rather consider getting the ultimate edition now zorin is a good OS and similar type of OS is pop which is a great looking ubuntu based OS if you want to try take a look at this pop OS is by this system 76 which is a great pick for developers and computer science professionals of course not just limited to coders it is also a very good choice if you are just starting to use linux it is based on ubuntu but the ui feels a lot more intuitive and smooth in addition to the ui it enforces full disk encryption out of the box using zfs a lot of our readers seem to be like it uh, like um, as you can judge by the comments below if you are curious about it you should also check the article covering by hands-on experience pop OS by philip prado i will give the link in the description as well and now uh, these are some best uh, beginner friendly os available in 2020 but uh, there are some great os also um, i think uh, in the next video i will talk about this operating system the, uh, in the next video these are called the manzaro and fedora i think these are honorable mentions but now i want to thanks to the its first website for their awesome article regarding this linux OS, uh, which you can check from the description now uh, image credits goes to the reddit and its first website and uh, that's the thing for today and in next time i will come up with a review of our OS so give me some guess in the comment box and thanks for the watching signing off have a nice day